Hello, hello, this is Angela with Dogwood Paper Hearts, and I'm back to work in the, um, <laughs> what's the name? I always have to look at the box. Countryside 49 and Market Journal. So in our Countryside Journal, we have a couple of pockets here and here and here and here. We'll make ephemera for everything later um, for these. I wanted to start on the front. I'm not going to do a lot to the front. Um, I brought along these really cool envelopes. I thought they might make a nice pocket depending on how much bigger they are than the journal. Um, we may have to cut them down to size. I brought along a couple of CD envelopes. Um, I think it would be nice to um, utilize these in a page. And then I have these really cute cards that have a slip-in for a picture, a little envelope. They're clear, I mean, you know, no plastic on them. And then I brought a couple of envelopes to put on the inside. And I think maybe, I don't want to make it too awfully fat here in the front cover. So um, this one will flip up this way. This one will flip over this way. And back here we'll have something that looks nice. Ta-da! Now, I do have to cut these down. Um, I realize that, <laughs> but we're going to use those. I got these from Emily at Vintage Polka Dot Shop. I saw she still had some in her um, Litsy shop uh, not, not too long ago, so you might check it out if you want some of these. I decided just to buy them from her so I wouldn't have to buy an extraordinary amount. So the first thing I'm going to do is put my front page on. And I'm going to put it right up towards the edge there. And I'm, I'm going to put a hinge on it. Like so. Okay. Because eventually this will be done and we'll have a cover over our whole spine. Okay, let's set that aside and do this. So I've cut this a half an inch and whatever size your file folder is, that's what size you'll want to cut your cover to fit. Mine comes over just slightly here, just a tiny, tiny, not even a sixteenth of an inch. It's very small. And then I cut a one inch piece and scored it at a half of an inch. And let's see, let's make sure I'm doing this right. Yes, it's going to go on this side. And let me start my timer. Ooh, these crazy things get so plugged up. There must be something, something better. I wonder if you took and put these in the freezer, if the glue that's inside of here would harden up and just drop out once you defrosted it. I'm going to try, I'm going to dry it. I am, I am. Ok, 
Okay, we're going to want that right along that edge there. It's fairly close. Because I've gotten it a lot closer. Okay. Let's adhere this to theirs. Here to theirs. I'm going to ink it up. this inside as well because it will probably have a pocket or something on it and I think I'm going to bend that just slightly so I can ink that just so it shows up better when I go to put something against it so I can see it easily. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and glue this side. Okay, now this is on a little curve there, so I'm going to open it up and see if I can press it down a little bit better. I want it um, really right along that edge there. So that yeah. Okay, that's fairly close. So I'm going to open that up. And I'm going to open this up. There we go. So that I can push this down and get a good adherence. Okay. Oh, I'm already mixed up. <laughs> okay, here we are. Now we're going to put on an envelope. So we know we have to resituate our envelope because it is too tall. But I do want them to be the same size as the page or just a little shorter maybe um, I'm going to cut it right there and I think what I'll do is draw a line across there and I'll show you why I will show you why. I'm going to line this up. Now, envelopes are not always perfectly straight. Let me say that first. So don't, don't count on it being straight. Even after you do all this work. 
So I'm going to draw my line across there. Just like that. And now I am going to cut this off. Just like that. And just like get to open that up and bring this line clear out to here. There we go. And we're going to cut this angle. Remember how we did those document um, pieces from Roxy Creations? Now we have that piece still left there, so let's go ahead and cut that off so it opens. There we go. Now we're going to... Um, this one's going to fold in right here. <laughs> it's a very thin envelope, I do have to say. Right there. And we're going to remove this piece here. Right along there. Now we still have an envelope that has room to put things into it and for it to grow. So it is going to open probably at the top. So let's go ahead and cut that top open. And then it won't probably open at the top. It will open at the top. So just a little slice there. Now the top and bottom should be open. This is now our tuck spot for our envelope. And I'm just going to take this piece that's on here and I'll, I'll, I'll cut it straight across. And I want to put a little bit of glue here. And this is just going to strengthen this envelope top up just a little bit. We'll put something else in here to strengthen it too. And probably something right here. Okay, so our first thing to do then is to look at the inside of this and decide what do we want in there? Do we want just a plain piece of paper? Um, I did bring along some extra papers. One is this ledger style paper and this ledger style paper. Now this would be a good one for the bottom for this one because it's going to be going this direction and that flower would be right in here. That would be perfect for that one. So I'm going to keep those two together. Now, if you want to use your same paper, then by all means do that. Um, I'm just, I just thought this would look cool in there. And then maybe I'll decorate it with some of the flowers. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So that has got to go clear out to the edge because we're going to seal that over like that. No, we're actually going to put a piece on the back like that. Okay, got it. So I'm going to put this piece on the inside. And I know it has to be a 
from there to here. I can't remember what pack this came out of. Um, it's one of the packs I bought from Hobby Lobby or um, Joann's, maybe Michael's. It's been a long time ago. Uh oh, here comes Luigi. Ever since he got on camera that day, he's just been non-stop wanting to get back on camera. He's a ham. He's a kitty ham. Really, it doesn't need to be this long, but it will make the inside of the envelope quite nice. I'm not going to worry about um, inking this up or anything. I'm just going to glue it inside, and then if I need to trim it some more, I'll have to do that. No, I think it's going to fit fine. Okay. We'll, um, may have to ink up the top. So we were exposed to COVID on Sunday. We had dinner guests. And then it just so happens that the next day our guest was positive for COVID. <laughs> so that's the way it goes. Not worried about it at all, you know. It's nothing you can do. We people get exposed all the time anyway. But I hope I don't get sick with it. I hope I have some immunity to something somewhere. <laughs> okay, so there is that piece. Now, okay, so. Now on the back piece, we need to put it all the way up to here. Oh, and this will actually um, get glued down. But before I glue it, I want to put something in here. So what shall we put in there? A big old red flower. Um. Here is another beautiful rose. That one's a little too big. Um, this one's very pretty. With a little bow. Yeah. Um. do have a sunflower. I almost feel like we need a whole picture in there. That's kind of cool. Um, uh, no, 
no, no, no, no. We still want to be able to slip things into this envelope. So maybe we should wait and then find a picture we want to slip into there. Let's do that. So we'll kind of wipe that envelope top off, that plastic there. And I'm going to seal this side. And this piece here will serve as a little hinge on the bottom. I can see that's sticking up right there. Okay, press that down. Now the reason I didn't do the other side of the envelope in there is because we're going to decorate it from the outside over here. Okay, now we have those parts. And we're going to slip a picture into there from right up here. That'll work. Okay. So now I want to give this just a little angle cut on both sides. Not worried about that piece yet. <clears throat> and I'm going to, if you want to cut this smaller, you can. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to leave just a little edge this time. That is about an eighth of an inch there. And I'm going to even this up between the top and the bottom. It's going to be very, very close have a little piece of paper sticking out there. Okay. So let's create the hinge on this envelope. Sure, it's inside. There we go. It does. You know, it looks pretty even here. Open that up. Okay. Now, let's put our base piece in. And that is going to be the other half of this. This was the part of the 12 by 12. So we're going to put this one in here, but we're going to have to cut it down just slightly because it's going to be ooh, too large. Well, it's very close, but I think we better nip it just slightly. If we need to, we can put a piece of washi tape there, which really wouldn't hurt, and that would give that um, a little bit of a coverage there where this piece might show. So, because I am going to nip one of these sides down just a little bit. And I think it will be maybe this one. Yeah, you can see that it just, just makes a noise there. Okay, so let's take off a little bit over here. Wow, 20 minutes already. Time flies when you're having fun. Okay, now this is just a tiny bit. Just a little bit. See that? Of course, it doesn't even like to cut it down on that end. OK. 
Okay, let's see. Let's see if I did it right. Okay, that works over there. And that works there. And we will need to put some washi tape there. To, even though we're going to bring something up to the edge here. Um, I do think we'll put the washi tape on it. And once again, I'm going to use the wide washi tape, which I have taken out of the box. I have black. Oh, I like this one better. Okay. Set that aside. I'm going to peel that off of there. We don't need it. No sense in keeping it in there. It'd just be slippery. And we're going to go from there to there. Oh no, you said you didn't stick. It seems to be repositionable. So it's going to be right about there. I think we'll go over this just slightly. Even if I get some on this part, it doesn't matter because we're going to put a piece of paper over it. And it doesn't matter if this is crooked, upside down, or otherwise. Because only this piece is actually going to show. But sometimes with envelopes, you just never know what they're going to do. Let's mush that down good. Mush out our glue. And then we want to bend this way, so let's make that crease in there very carefully so that it sits down into that bend. There we go. Okay. Now let's flip this back open and I need to trim that. There we go. And I got a little string hanging off of it. And then we'll need to trim it here. So I'm going to open that up to get it out of my way. It's stuck to me. And then I'm going to come back to this side. And trim what's left. There we go. Okay. Let's have a look at it. Are we confused yet? I am. There we go. Okay. Let's wrap that around there. And let's come back to here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is so pretty, isn't it? I like it. We got that hinge there, so we know it's not going to come off. Now, let's go ahead and add this right in there. 
and make sure this side, yep, it does. Oh boy. Isn't it pretty? Oh, don't let me put this in upside down, you guys. I'm looking at it upside down. <laughs> don't let me. Stop me from doing it, please. That would be just my luck. Thing is, you guys should probably notice it before me. And then somebody would tell me and I'd go back and look at it and I'd be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> okay, so that is going to go right there. So what I want to do, I can untangle that. Put it out there. I'm going to run the back over that way. And we're going to put this down. Now if you want this to match up with this, you'll have to put the washi tape over here too. But I think it's going to be okay like this. I might washi tape that. I'm I'm not sure yet because I might put a pocket on it which would really pretty much cover it. Now making sure we're going upward. Upward we go. They just get to the point where they plug up all the time. I'm starting to like, think I like the idea of just having a watered down PVA and using that. There we go. That. Oh, that's so pretty. Beautiful paper. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, let's see if we can get it going the right direction again. There's the cover. Yeah, see, even just one envelope makes that thing pop open. Oh, gosh. We might just put one envelope in there. Because um, we really don't want the top to be the piece that pops open all the time. We want to go in here, and this will be a journal. And then we'll have some extra stuff back here. Oh, look at that. It's a good note to say. Cover your ink, or you'll get this. And you sure don't want to do that to the front cover. That's why I usually do the front cover last, but... On this one, it's been driving me nuts, so I gotta do it. Okay, so now we need to decorate this guy, and then we'll have to make a nice big thing to go in there. And you know, those um, documents that we've been making with Rachel at Roxy Creations. I really like that idea of putting a document holder in here that is a permanent piece at the top. And I think maybe we'll do that back here. Um, we'll put in a, a document holder and it'll fold up and connect in right there. Or maybe over here or over there. So let's see. So in other words, it would be attached over here 
and then this would flop open. I glued, I, I folded this one up, the glue as well. <laughs> so it's wrinkly. But wouldn't that be a cool idea? So just in case you're following along, Robin, hi. Are you following along, Robin? Um, just in case you are, um, this is what I'm thinking about putting back here is a document holder. Okay, cool. It's pretty simple so far. Um, well, other than me complicating things with this a little bit. But still, this is a really fun idea because I just love that it slides closed to here. And then if you want to see more of it, you just slide it to the left. And we'll think of some pretty things to put in there. Isn't that cool? And then, of course, this. I really probably should have left that a little bit longer. It's okay. I'm not going to worry about that today. Okay. So now we need to do the back of our envelope. Ooh. Oh yeah, too full, look at that. Nothing like fluffing the journal up in an instant. Put those back over there. Okay, so we have this beautiful area that we can put something in. And we have this one and this one. Now, I would like to put some flowers on the outside here. So, how are we going to do that? We have the upside and the outside. Let's go. Where should we go next? I don't know. We have... Um, we have used up two, almost two full pages. So here's what we have left is that one this one oh that's pretty on the back isn't it oh yeah we have this one with the black and white background so this might be the next one that I start cutting up on because um, I'm not doing really a black and white so I can save that piece but I love this background with the newsprint on it. So, okay, let's use that as one we could actually cut apart. Now, we could put that on there like that. But, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's see what we have here. Have we used this one yet? Because this one really matches this one nicely. Oh, see, they don't fit. See? Okay, well, pockets. Okay, back to this piece the cut apart piece <laughs> yes 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 this is the one we will cut apart okay so do we want I think we want this piece only because this is such a bright yellow and this maintains the bright yellow and then starts switching back out to a lighter color Okay, so we have to be on this side of it. And we'll cut it right there. First we're gonna cut this little piece off the bottom. This paper is called um, Sunny Day. It's the same collection, 
but each paper has its own name, which is kind of nice. That's a nice strip, though. We'll, sa we'll save that one. Okay, now we have a, a mark up there, so let's use it. Make sure nothing else is in the way. Oh, sorry, V. And then, did I mark it? To mark it, to mark it, to buy it that big. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. Looking at the thumb up. We'll probably put a thumb hole back here. And the bee will just be entering the page. That'll be nice. Right there. We'll save this piece for something else. And let's see how it looks. I think it's okay. Okay. Let's ink it up. Oh dear. This um, piece of paper back here, it would be beautiful in a black and white journal. I sure bamboozled myself on that black and white journal because it bothered me that it didn't have colorful pictures in it. Like, like my dad was, you know. He, although he was like, loved color. All kinds of colors. You know, he was probably an artist. I wondered. He loved paper. Oh my goodness. He would have loved to sign my paper collection. I think I did take it up to him once and show him the really yeah i did the really interesting papers i bought um he loved them that was those fiber papers and stuff okay that looks good okay now Let's go back to one of these. That's really green for there, isn't it? Um, I kind of like this as a pocket here. Do I already have that one? No, I cut this one like that. So we could cut this one around here and then straight across for a pocket here. Uh, we've already done that one. Ooh. 
these might make um, really good um, angle pages. Like this. And then maybe like this. Hmm. I wonder. No, I really like that one there. Now we could. Oh, I know. I know what to do. I do. Okay. Save this idea for just a little bit in your head. You know, I like to do things a little differently every now and then. So what I want to do, so I'm going to cut this off here to there. Not too wide, not too shallow. Save that. It has the word advertiser on it. And then I'm going to cut this one off right, right here after the word flower. There's a tag. And this one, we want them the same height or no? I guess so. Let's do them the same height. And if that doesn't look good, then we'll cut one at a different angle or something. And save that. It's a nice little advertising piece. Okay. Now, flip that open. And we are going to make... Ooh. Not gonna work, they're too close together. Hmm, how can I do it, guys? Okay, this one's fatter, but it's going the wrong direction. Okay. We're going to go with this one, and then we will extend our pocket tuck. This is going to be a tuck. We're going to extend it with some sunflowers. Just cut off. And then maybe a new one behind, like that. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay. First I'm going to round that. I'll do a half inch round. Just to give it a nice, deep cut there. And then we're going to go around it with some ink. We'll just collage some pieces together here. So we have that. And then... Could do it like this. This maybe. Okay, we go straight down through here with glue. Yeah, gonna glue this side. I forgot to ink it. So we're going. 
going to do. This. Find our tail. We're going to need it. Okay. I don't know if we need this piece. Um, probably not. Although, if we leave it, it might get caught up on things in there. Definitely not that one because it's cut off on a straight like that. the leaf coming out there so we'll leave it <clears throat> okay I'm gonna remember to ink this one I'm not gonna worry about all the little things in there now I'll ink up this one And I'm going to put that one right there like that. Yes. Okay. Now, I know we have three, but if we look back there, we have a fourth. So I think we need to come back in here with this guy maybe and put him right in there I think. And then we'll have a really nice little tuck spot here. Yeah, I'm going to put it right here. some of that up. Get rid of that gluey marks. And let's see. Do we want to add that one? I think we'll leave it like that. 
so let's look at this back now if we put too much on there it's um, going to run into problems so I think maybe it'll be okay it's, it is a tuck spot so it probably will be okay We could put a little piece of washi tape there. No, it'll get sticky. Okay, we're just going to go here and here. Oh, we got to cut that leaf off the bottom. And the stem. And we'll go this way. Now the sad part is, maybe I already said this, is we already have flowers right here. But the happy part is, is that we have this sunflower now connected to the rest of the sunflower patch. There we go. Okay, I think we will call it a day with the journal and um, we'll come back to it when all this gets nice and dry. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that'll be nice. It'll be a nice tuck there. And then we'll make something for over here, either a tuck or maybe we'll make, um, ooh, we might make a nice little pocket over here. I like that idea. Yeah. We'll make some kind of pocket there. And then we have some pockets I would like to put on here. Okay. Well, I'm going to say goodbye for right now. And I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget, give this video a thumbs up, please. And subscribe. Much more entertainment for your enjoyment. I don't know how entertaining in my hand, but I'll try to be. Okay, thanks for hanging out with me today, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.